Claire Deeks is a mother on a mission who created her healthy food website, Dom's Kitchen, to give families the tips, tricks, and tools to start eating more real food for snacks and mealtimes. Claire is a blogger, public speaker, ambassador, recipe developer, photographer, writer, and mum to five-year-old Dom. Kia ora, Claire. Nā mai hara mai. Kia ora kōrua. Kia ora, Dom. Welcome to our Whānau Living Kitchen. Hi, thank you very much for having us. You're, you're welcome. welcome. Um, Ane aku tamariki, so I've got all my kids here. And you're Dom. I know you, Dom, because you're famous, aren't you? <laughs> Is this your kitchen? <laughs> Dom's kitchen. <laughs> I love what you do with your lunch boxes. They look amazing, but they are real and they seem quite doable. Yes, I mean, that's the whole thing. I don't spend a lot of time doing these. Usually take a couple of minutes to do them. So today we're going to do something fun to start with, the gelatin gummies, because that's something that the kids really like to do. How ngā mea e toru? Are we going to make three lunch three boxes? Three lunch boxes, yes. I've got the classic one that I usually make once a week, which is leftover roast. The other one, sushi with the eggs and tuna, but it's not really sushi, it just looks like it for fun. And then I've got one for mums who say, you know, they've never got time to cook. Pai tēnā kia, sounds good to me. Pihe o koutou whakaaro pai. Pai. Tēnā pai, okay, we're ready to go. I've got a question for you guys. Who are the best helpers? Ngā kai a whina tēnā pai tēnā koutou. Who are the best helpers in here? Koutou katoa. Tā te mahi tuatahi, what are we going to do first? Okay, so Mayana's going to squeeze the lemons so that we get some lemon juice to make our gummies with. And the boys are going to do some blending. So basically we're going to end up with different juices, a half a cup of juice each flavour. One lemon, one strawberry, one blueberry. I've got some water just so that it can make the strawberries go round a little bit. There we go. So that's the strawberry juice. And what we've got now, just to make things a little bit easier for ourselves, Stacey, I have actually got some. This is the blueberry. And so all I've done there is, it was in the blender, a little bit of water, blended up. That's just pure blueberry. This one is two apples blended with some spinach. And this one is um, some of the lemon with um, honey. So we've got that good to go. So we've got easily done four colors for the kids. All we need to do now is put it in the pot and bring it to a simmer and add the gelatin. Mama noi ho. Sounds nice and easy. So we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup to some of them and two tablespoons of honey. I usually use that one with a lemon, it just seems to go better. And then a couple of tablespoons of the gelatin. All right, so it looks like that's done and you just have to move quite quickly now so it doesn't end up solidifying in the pot. Okay. Yeah, good work. Okay, so we're going to do the green one. Okay, put it right over. Put a couple of tablespoons of honey. The thing with the gelatin, as soon as you put it in, it starts to clump together. So that's why you just do a little sprinkle of it. Oh, great. I need a little help with the T-Rexes. Okay, a little help with the T-Rex. So those are going to go in the fridge for at least an hour, usually fine. If you wanted to speed it up, 10, 15 minutes in the freezer. There we go, and close the door. Yay. Peho koutou whakaaro ki tēnā mahi. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Dom, you are an expert. I get why it's called Dom's Kitchen. Tino Rawe, that is such a good little trick because it's like the leaves, but it actually has whole food in it. Yes, exactly. And easy in the lunchbox as well. Well, wari a rawa whakaaro ki ngā pawaka kaine. And actually, speaking of lunchboxes, these guys are all about these cute lunchboxes. Yes, this particular one's called a yum box. Dom likes to call it the fun box. They come in a couple of different ways. Dom's got the one that's got a bit more space. But I found all of these lunchboxes really helpful because it gives you an indication of the amount to give. And the great thing about this particular one is it seals, so you can keep things like yoghurt in there and you don't have to worry about it going into the other compartment. So what are we going to do? We just assemble things. We'll end up with one roast one, which is is what we usually end up with on Mondays because we have a roast dinner often on the weekend. So oh, we yes. can get the gummies now out. So we can put those in that little, in the little bit there. Wow. Ngā toi ngā kaine, so from the leftovers, how we can use those in a lunchbox. Yes. A lot of parents do find that it can take a bit of time for the kids to get used to eating cold food, but they usually try to get them started in lunch times at home or in the weekend, just introducing a little bit of it. 
but I end up with the opposite problem because now Dom's always had the cold food, so I don't want the hot food, so <laughs> I guess it. A hardcore pair here, no matter what you do, yeah, you've got a different thing going on. So have played the Nazi Fetty, that's a good tip there. Okay, so for Kurawaka, you scoop out the cucumber and make a little boat kind of thing and then put the chicken mayonnaise inside and I just call that chicken or tuna sushi and we're going to make some egg wraps that we wrap and also make look like sushi. So that's what I call the sushi lunchbox. And then I've also got one down here which is actually parents who they don't really want to spend any time doing any cooking and it's more of my what I call my emergency lunchbox. So I've got popcorn, dried meat, eggs, it's all really simple things that don't need much brain power to prepare and you can keep in the pantry store for ages. Who has got the best lunchbox ever? <laughs> You're so lucky, what a flash looking lunchbox, but it was actually really easy. The idea is I usually make a little picture for Dom or something and then he can have a go himself to fill it up. Makes your life easier in the morning too. Let's pretend it's lunchtime. Ding, 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 ko tangi te pere, the bell's gone. Okay, go I want to try these jellies that you've made. Me whakamatu, ne? Oh, wow. Some firma. And what's Mama got over there? Some more amazing pawakakai over there? Yeah, just a few fun ideas to do, just some colour. So we've got some red, some yellow, some green. It's actually really easy to do once, but you do have to write it down a bit if you're going to go to the supermarket because you generally forget, so just something fun. Kei tau matake e hoa, that's like next level. Te o whakaro, ooh. Happy here, Hawaiki. <laughs> wow, super treats, but not something that you feel bad about giving the kids. Okay, top five. Now, Lady Mihi Nui, high five. Yeah, thank you guys. We'll think of you at lunchtime. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for having us. Top five.